Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about layers and masks in Godot 3. The best way to think about layers are that you're giving an object a group or a category that it belongs to, like I am the player or I'm the ground. And then the best way to think about masks are I will interact with that group or I won't interact with that group. In Godot, there's two kinds of layer systems, physics and rendering. Physics relate to anything that's physics, and then the rendering layers, those will relate to anything that has to do with the camera, lighting, meshes, or textures. So before I show you how to assign layers and masks, I want to show you how you can set up your layers. And we can do that by going up to Project, Project Settings, and you want to scroll down until you get to Layer Names. And what you see is rendering layers and physics layers for 2D and 3D. We'll be using the 3D layers, but 2D is exactly the same. For rendering and physics, you have a limitation of up to 20 layers. But for right now, I'm just going to use two layers in each of them. So I'll give the two rendering layers a name and the two physics layers a name. And we'll just keep it simple so we can tell them apart. Once you have these layers set up, the question becomes, how do we assign these layers? And the answer to that is, it depends on the node. So let's take a look at the camera, which has rendering layers. If you look in the inspector of the camera, you'll notice that it has a mask. And if you remember back to what I said before, a mask says what you want to interact with and what you don't want to interact with. By default, all the 20 layers are turned on. If you click on one of these boxes, you'll be turning that layer off. Another way you do that is by coming over to the two dots, and you'll see a list of the different layers. Now if we go and look at the mesh instance, you'll notice that it has layers, not a mask. Layers meaning, I am a part of this group, and in this case, it's part of layer 1. So to show you an example, if we come back to the camera, and we turn on preview, if we turn off layer 1 on the camera, you'll notice that all of the mesh instances disappear. And then if we come back to the mesh instances and we decide that they want to be in other groups, you'll see that they turn back on. Now let's take a look at physics layers. I have a static body and a rigid body in my scene. If I click on the static body, you'll notice that it has a layer and a mask. So for physics, you can choose what group it belongs to and what groups it does or doesn't interact with. So on my static body, which is the floor, if I turn off layer 1 on the mask and I hit play, what we should expect to see is that the ball will fall and go through the floor because they shouldn't be interacting. But if I hit play, what you'll see is but the ball is falling and still colliding with the floor. And there's a reason for this. If we go to our rigid body and we open up collision, you'll see that it also has a layer and a mask. It's saying, I will interact with anything on layer 1. Basically what this means is that just because one object doesn't want to interact with another doesn't mean that another object won't try and interact with it. So if we turn off layer 1 in the mask of the rigid body, or change it to another layer, and we hit play, what we should see now is that the ball falls and goes through the floor, because they're not interacting with each other. So as another example, I'm going to duplicate the rigid body. In rigid body 2, I'm going to set its layer to layer 2. Rigid body 1, I'm going to set its layer to layer 1. And then the static body, I'm going to set its mask to layer 2. And when I hit play, what we should see is that Rigid body 1 falls through the floor, and rigid body 2 keeps on bouncing. This might be the kind of thing you want to do if you want a player to pick up an item, but you don't want an enemy to pick up an item. Alright guys, this covers layers and masks. If you thought this video was helpful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.